What's up, everyone? Tara Roberts here with Fantasy Pros for round two of our NFL power rankings for the playoffs. Eight teams are left. Did any of them make a big leap? We'll find out. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Fantasy Pros across all platforms. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. At number eight, we have the San Francisco 49ers who are actually up one spot from last week. The 49ers beat the Dallas Cowboys 23 to 17 in an upset win over Dallas on the road. Everything was essentially in the 49ers control for the majority of the game. And Dallas did try to have a little comeback there at the end and fell one second short, unfortunately. The combination of the game being in jeopardy plus a continuing shaky quarterback situation lands San Francisco at the back of the list. Jimmy Garoppolo is still playing through injury and maybe that's affecting things because on Sunday he was 16 of 25 for 172 yards and one interception. That's just not going to cut it in these playoffs where other teams have blowout victories with quarterbacks leading the way with multiple touchdowns and high yardage. But on the other hand, Elijah Mitchell has continued to showcase very strong with 27 carries for 96 yards and one touchdown. Jimmy G needs to pull it together though, because the 49ers face the number one seeded Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. Falling back to number seven are the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are coming off a huge 34 to 11 victory over the Arizona Cardinals. A victory that might have been less about the Rams dominance and more about the Cardinals ineptitude. Kyler Murray was held to 137 yards with two interceptions and just looked shell-shocked most of the game. Matt Stafford was efficient, going 13 of 17 for 202 yards and two touchdowns. And Cam Akers' shocking return to health continues to be a huge storyline here. Akers returned in week 18 with five attempts for three yards, and this week he had 17 carries for 55 yards and appears to be reasserting himself as the lead back as the Rams continue to move forward in the playoffs. The Rams still have a ton to prove though. Their last victory over a playoff team not named Arizona was against Tampa Bay back in September. Yikes. But maybe that's a good sign because the Bucks are their divisional round matchup. These are two very different teams than their last matchup. The Rams receiving core now includes Odell Beckham Jr., who has done well since his arrival in LA. In addition to his 54 receiving yards and one touchdown this week, Odell also threw a 40 yard pass to Cam Akers. Sean McVay will undoubtedly continue to pull all the stops as the Rams continue to push forward after a shaky end to their regular season. Coming in at number six are the Cincinnati Bengals with a 26 to 19 victory over the Las Vegas Raiders. This matchup was one of the few matchups that stayed relatively close throughout the entire game. However, after the Raiders kicked a field goal to open up the game, Cincinnati scored and never relinquished the lead. Joe Burrow had another solid performance going 24 of 34 for 244 yards and two touchdowns with Jamar Chase yet again the leading receiver with over 100 yards. Cincinnati is on a roll and closing out the season very strong. The Bengals face the Tennessee Titans in the first matchup of the season between these two teams. Coming in down one spot to number five, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucs are coming off a 31 to 15 victory over the Eagles, but to be fair, it was 31 to zero until the fourth quarter. The Bucs have done an incredible job continuing to perform at a high level despite significant losses both on offense and defense. Tom Brady leaned heavily on Mike Evans, who had nine receptions for 117 yards and one touchdown. And I'd expect this to continue as Evans will close out the season as the last man standing in what was arguably the most dominating receiving core coming into the season. And while the Bucks hoped to see Leonard Fournette return to action, he unfortunately remained on IR and Keyshawn Vaughn and Giovanni Bernard led the way on the ground, combining for nearly 100 yards and two touchdowns. It was fantastic to see the depleted Bucks stay strong and dominate, but I wouldn't take too much away from this victory. Philadelphia was unfortunately just not playoff ready, and likely this would have been the result against any other playoff team. Tampa Bay's divisional round matchup is against the LA Rams, and Tampa is the favorite here despite all of the injuries. Jumping up four spots to number four are the Buffalo Bills. 
The Bills put on an absolutely masterful performance in a 47-17 routing of the New England Patriots. The Patriots were just overmatched, unfortunately. Josh Allen threw five touchdowns with incredible efficiency, completing 21 of 25 passes for 308 yards. Devin Singletary also added two touchdowns on the ground, averaging 5.1 yards per carry. And the defense showcased why it is the number one overall in DVOA ratings. It was a fantastic showing for a team that really needed a dominating performance after finishing the season off with a couple of middling performances against the Jets and the Falcons. And they head into what should be a highly competitive game with the Kansas City Chiefs. Buffalo has the clear edge over Kansas City defensively, but this matchup is about Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, who combined for a total of 73 touchdowns this season. Remaining in the number three spot for the second week in a row are the Kansas City Chiefs. The final score of the wildcard matchup with the Pittsburgh Steelers was 42 to 21, but quite frankly, it wasn't even that close. TJ Watt kicked off the game with a fumble recovery for a touchdown that gave the Steelers a 7-0 lead, and Kansas City answered with 35 straight points. This just wasn't a fair matchup, and Pittsburgh admittedly knew that. The Chiefs are an incredibly dominating force, and had the Chiefs not lost that very close matchup against the Bengals in Week 17, a mere three-point loss in a game where Joe Burrow threw for 446 yards and four touchdowns, it's very possible that this list would have Kansas City as the unchallenged number one team in the NFL. That loss was the only blemish in their schedule since a loss to the Titans back in October. This week's matchup against the Bills should be the highlight of the divisional round. Just barely holding on to the number two spot are the Tennessee Titans. I get that I might be the only person in the world willing to give the Titans the number two spot in a power rankings list, but I'll reiterate this. Their resume does in fact include wins over the 49ers, the Rams, the Chiefs, and the Bills. Pair those victories with their number one AFC seeding and the return of Derrick Henry, and I still believe they are deserving of this spot. They've had some bad losses and games that were closer than they should have been, but they play up to competition very well and they are finally at full health so healthy that even Julio Jones had his first touchdown of the season in their final regular season game. A matchup with Cincinnati isn't ideal with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase on an incredible hot streak, but they are the conference leaders, they are the favorites in this matchup, and they deserve this spot. And at number one, we have the Green Bay Packers holding on strong heading into a matchup against the San Francisco 49ers. The Packers were on a roll until their week 18 loss against the Detroit Lions, a game where the offense was solid for the first half before the starters were pulled, but the defense was a little bit shaky. The Packers have multiple wins over playoff teams, including an early September victory over the 49ers, a game dominated by the combination of Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams, of course. Rodgers has had a stellar season with over 4,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, and only four interceptions. Their run game has also been very strong with Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon leading the way in a combined effort now. Similar to the Titans, the Packers are hoping to get some players back healthy at the right time, particularly on defense. And that wraps things up for round two of our NFL power rankings for the playoffs. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Fantasy Pros across all platforms and stick around for more content.